Dr. Kilgore from Dr. Kilgore's World with another flipped math learning video. Our learning goal for today is I can multiply whole numbers by numbers with decimals. So our guiding question is how do you multiply a whole number by a decimal? Our strategies for success for today are first you want to write the problem just like you would multiplying whole numbers. You do not line up the decimals when you are multiplying. Addition and subtraction, we line them up. Multiplication, we do not. Step two, we multiply like normal. Step three, count your decimal places. Step four, move the decimal to the left, the number of spaces you counted. And let's look at some practice for this skill. Remember to pause this video if you need to regroup. Pause if you need to come back and look at these strategies to do the problems. So here are our practice problems. The first ones are written, already put together for us, and then we'll do some where we have to write them. So we have 9 and 8 tenths multiplied by 2. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 9 is 18 plus 1 is 19. Now count the decimal spaces. This row has one decimal. This row has zero. One plus zero is one. We take the decimal from the end and move it over one space. So our answer is 19 and 6 tenths. So let's look at this next one and see if it's making sense. 67 hundredths multiplied by 8. 8 times 7 is 56. 6 times 8 is 48. Plus 5 is 53. Count our decimal places. 1, 2, 0. 2 plus 0 is 2. That means our decimal starts here, goes over one space, over another space. And our answer is 5 and 36 hundredths. So this next one is a little bit more difficult because we have to remember not to line them up. So 34 times 5 and 3 tenths. Two digit by two digit now. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. Cross it out, cross it out. Second row starts with a 0. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17. And now we need to add those products. 2 plus 0 is 2. 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 7 is 8. 1 plus nothing is 1. Now we count our zeros, or I mean our decimals. 0 here. 1 here, 0 plus 1 is 1, that means our decimal comes over one space, and we get 180 and 2 tenths. Give me just a second to set up some more practice problems, and we will keep doing some practice. Okay, so I want you to try these practice problems on your own before you try them with me. Go ahead and copy them down on your paper, pause the video, and start working the problems. Then go ahead and press play and come back and check with me. So pause now and I'll see you in a few minutes. Welcome back. Here is our first problem. Your first step is to write it like a multiplication problem, not worrying about the decimal places. Second step is to multiply. So 
6 times 1 is 6, 1 times 4 is 4, and 1 times 3 is 3. Second row starts with a 0. 6 times 2 is 12. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. 3 times 2 is 6. Add those products. 6, 6, 12, 7. Count your decimals. 1, 0, 1. That means my decimal goes one space over. Second problem, 556 oh, and 3 tenths multiplied by 22. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. Second row starts with a 0, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 6 is 12, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. Add the products, 6, 8, 3, 2, 1. Count my decimals. 1, 0. My decimal goes over one space and I get 1,238 and 6 tenths. Let's see this problem. 405 times 47 hundredths. Let's fix that error there. There we go. 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 0 is 0 plus 3 is 3. 7 times 4 is 28. Second row starts with a 0. 5 times 4 is 20. 4 times 0 is 0 plus 2 is 2. 4 times 4 is 16. Add the products, 5, 3, 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1. Add my decimals, 2 decimals over 1, over 2, put the dot. Let's come down to the bottom. 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 4 is 8, 0. 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 4 is 8, add the products, 0, 8, 8, count my decimals, 0, 2, 1, 2, and last practice problem, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 0 is 0, Next row starts with a 0. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 0 is 0. Add the products. 2, 2, 0. We don't need to put it there. Count my decimals. 1, 0. I have one decimal. That means it goes right here in the middle. And I get 2 and 2 tenths. I hope these practice problems has helped you um, learn the process for multiplying whole numbers by decimals. I will see you in the next video about multiplying decimals by decimals.